everybody. Welcome to Harsh Chat. I'm Erica. I'm Nicole. And I'm Akila. Welcome to Harsh Chat. So today we're going to talk about Beyonce's Lemonade through a mental health lens. But before we get mm -hmm. into that, how are we doing? Doing all right on this <laughs> dreary day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So how are you doing, Erica? Pretty good. I, um, well, actually, we talked about, as you guys know, we did a video. Nicole was not here. Um, well, actually, it wasn't a video. It was audio. Yeah. yeah. She couldn't make it that day. <laughs> And I already talked about my trip, but yeah. since my trip, I've been trying to, you know, get back on tag, stay organized. As usual, I feel like I'm always doing that. Keep up my routine. But one thing um, in particular is trying to do more, like, outdoor fun things. I like okay. to do that, those, those kind of things. And I felt like just because I go somewhere and I'm like, oh, it's a new place. I want to explore. Just do that. There's so many things that are here that I don't explore or don't do. So That's I've been so trying true. to, you know, do more stuff like that because it makes me feel good, like, doing that stuff anyway. So why not do it when I'm here? I don't have to be on vacation to like do that kind of stuff. We so. still haven't gone hiking. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely got to go soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just think, things like that. That's, okay. awesome. That's a good, that, it is good that they, because we always go to like either other countries or other states and be like, That's oh, let's explore. But there, especially where we live, there is so much to see and do. Mm -hmm. There really is. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's like a hot, hot moment when they click me like, why don't I just do it when I'm there? I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It's just because you're home, and it's like, um, yeah. same old, same old. Lounge out. <laughs> so what about you two? Um, let's see. Well, you're always talking about looking forward to something to help you get through it. So as mm -hmm. y'all know, all these tests I have and all these crazy things going on, I'm looking forward to my cousin is getting married mm -hmm. in October. And so I'll be going home like two or three times before... Goodness her because I had to go for possibly a dress fitting. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna have to go for the bachelorette party, which is a cruise. We're all going on a cruise, get oh, like VIP, like all we're staying in all uh, one room. And that's awesome. It's gonna be scared. Oh, <laughs> it's, gonna, scared? No, no. it's gonna be, what's that, what's that movie called where they forget everything? The Hangover? Yeah, The Hangover 4. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so you have that and then the wedding's in October. So, awesome. okay. yeah, yeah. so that's something to look forward to because I have a very long stretch of not so nice things. Mm -hmm. So then you have all of those nice things to look forward to. Okay. So look at your advice coming in handy. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> what about you, Akila? Me, uh, same old same, but we're wedding. I guess it's all wedding season. Yep. So <laughs> I'm getting helping Antonia, excuse me, with her wedding and finally got my dress and I have to get it altered, all this wedding stuff. <laughs> well, I didn't even know you were going to be talking about a wedding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 One of my best friends is getting married, so. Are you the bride name, maid of honor? Maid of honor. Fun. Yeah. A lot of responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And that wedding's in uh, September. Okay. So we got the bridal shower coming up, bachelorette coming up, all boom, 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 boom. So. Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. <laughs> okay. Well, wow. not really, because oh, okay. our parents are paying for everything, so. Okay, well, that's enjoy good. then. That's what enjoy. I said. Enjoy. Well, yeah, that's it. Been pretty good. Just busy with that. Well, speaking of like weddings and relationships, it kind of goes into our topic, Beyonce and Jay-Z and Lemonade. Mm -hmm. So we have different different perspectives here because, um, well, I saw I saw Lemonade, I saw like the whole video the first time and I was like, whoa, like this is so good. Then I watched it again just to kind of like, you know, look at it through a different lens. And then Akilah, I think you watched it how many times? That was probably the third time I watched it. Okay, yeah, three today. times. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And we have Nicole who has seen a few clips, so we just have, you know, different perspectives. Mm -hmm. But it also shows even if you haven't watched it, you still hear about it and you yeah. still like know like what's what's going on. So mm -hmm. that's what we're talking about today. So Yeah, I can't believe how nation how nationwide and prevalent it is of people talking about her. Like on CNN, on all these like big things of, of someone's video. Uh huh. I just, I don't know, I just think it's, it's, it's insane, and it's for, and it's controversial, it's not like, mm -hmm. a, like, props to you, it's so, uh, I just think that that's, it. I don't know, why, it's like, of all the news, we're gonna focus on that, mm -hmm. and negatively, because yeah. both of you were saying you don't think that it's a negative video. No. Mm -hmm. Not at As all. we've talked before, we talked about music and videos, I love art, <laughs> yeah. so, I see something, I'm like, okay. It's art, rather it's true or not true. Exactly. It's yeah. creative, you know, I look at it, you know, that way. But, you know, in terms of, through a mental health lens, that's a completely different story. Completely different. <laughs> yeah. Because what I took from it, first of all, it's called Lemonade. 
And when I thought, I was like, lemonade. Hmm. Like when it first came out, I was thinking, hmm, why is it called lemonade? Then when I watched it, I was like, oh no, you're taking lemons. Like all mm -hmm. like the bad okay. things that happen, and you're turning something good. You're making lemonade out of it. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was powerful. Like, you know, good for her to take whatever happened in your life, whether it was cheating or something else, whatever happened in your life yeah. that you felt were lemons, not good things, and you make it into lemonade. Yeah, yeah. You own something. it. This is mine. I'm turning it into something good. Yeah. So. I'm presenting it to the world. Yeah, there's a quote I like. It's something about um, when bad thing, bad things are just opportunity in disguise. Yes. And that's what it yes. reminds me of. Like, different things happen, but you can take a bad thing and make it into an opportunity or something good. Mm -hmm. It's all about how you look at it. Well, I, mm -hmm. I do that with my clients every day, a lot of them. I mean, a lot of people who go through trauma and everything like that, like, trying to tell them, like, listen, every negative opportunity is a way to make it positive. Just like any positive opportunity or situation, you can make it negative. Yeah. I was like, it's so easy for us to go to negative, right? Yep. Right like this. I was like, so practice it being positive. Make something out of it. Make it worth what happened to you. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, that that entire, for me, as you know, oh no, I loved it so much <laughs> yes. that I watched it three times. Uh -huh. But um, I loved it before many different reasons in terms of her going through like all those stages of grief. Like the, the way everybody's always like, oh, in their business, like their mm -hmm. marriage or whatever, but it's so relatable to like the average human being. Like we all go through these stages when you're in a relationship, no matter if it's good, bad, up, down, like it's, it's, it's like, never be one way. It can never be one way. And I feel like the emotion that she portrays in it, cause face it, Beyonce's not that great of an actress guy. Come on now. So <laughs> like, I mean, she is at the ones that she yeah, plays, like, like the singer. Yeah. Oh, the singer. <laughs> but like, the, her emotions were so raw. It's a, it was like so sad to watch. Like mm -hmm. my uncle and I were watching it, and we were like, "She's like really crazy, and like <laughs> like really not crazy, like mental or things like that, but like like a woman scorned, yeah, going through this." And then at the end, I was just like hopeful. Like they got back together because it's just like, oh, this is this is all right. This is mm -hmm. nice. I know some people are like, <laughs> oh, what they got back there, but for, at the end, it was like. <laughs> It was like okay, there was hope. There was they worked through their stuff. They didn't get a divorce or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then at the very very end, it's about rebuilding yourself. I was just like, I loved it. Right. I mean, there's so many ways to look at it. You can look at it through like, okay, the relationship and mm -hmm. everything they went through and all the stages that she puts down and like going through something. But you can also look at it in terms of how we talk about coping skills. We yes. say music is a good coping skill because. You listen to something and you're like, oh, I hear that. I can relate to it. Or I've gone through that. So, like, you're with me here. Yeah. You know, and it shows, like, how powerful music is. Because when I, first of all, I love Beyonce. Okay? That's not, we, we all know, know that. that. You know me that. and Erica have had Beyonce nights. <laughs> yeah. So, when I heard it, I was, like, listening to it. I was, like, I was in it. And I was, like, wow, she went through all that? I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then at the end, when Jay-Z came in her video, I was, like, what is he doing in her video? Uh-uh. Now, I'm mad. Now, he's got to go. Because, like, with music, you get into it like you're right there. Yeah. I think that's why, you know, music is so powerful, and that's why people turn to it as a coping skill. Oh, oh definitely. Because you can relate to it, like, many different ways. Doing it and hearing it. Mm -hmm. I think it's very, very powerful. It saves people's lives a lot of the time. What? Yeah, it does. It really does. And, change, and can change your emotions, mm -hmm. depending on what you're listening to. Yeah. And, it's, and a lot of people focus on the relationship aspect of the lemonade which is obviously prevalent but also the cultural i don't people aren't yeah. focusing so much on the cultural aspect that is weaved throughout a lot of it. it's a lot of like it's a lot of like you know the southern culture which she grew up but also mm -hmm. displaying other black women and what they're going through like mm -hmm. all these different socioeconomic statuses all these different types of people like it's just it's just so good like age-wise from young to old mm -hmm. like it was I think that was important to see too. Right. I think, you know, because it's so controversial that I like the fact that you really don't know. You, it could be this way, it could be that way, but it gets you talking. And that's mm -hmm. the kind of stuff I like. I like, you know, you have your own opinion about it, but at least it gets us talking about things, mm -hmm. about pop culture, about relationships, about mental health. Like, you know, you could, that'd be the, the whole visual, you could spin it so many different yeah. ways. And that's what I really like. Yeah, I agree. And it is about your interpretation of it. And I think that that's what she does very well. Yes. Is doesn't, um, even when she makes her videos, she makes it to where you could even interpret that its own way. Because a lot of it is her dancing. A lot of it is her, like, other art forms. Mm -hmm. Like, the way her she's dressed and the way 
mm -hmm. of uh, like art art like like painting art and stuff like that like mm -hmm. she does it on her like yeah. culture and stuff so you can interpret it the way you need to interpret it for you to be able to relate to it mm -hmm. and she doesn't then further explain it a lot of times yep. either just enough so then <laughs> yeah. you can really make it beneficial for yourself because right. you can have a lot of songs that are what it what was that y'all remember that one song um that woman who just stared into the camera and she's like nothing compares to you oh was that Sinead O'Connor yeah yeah and and you all think that it's about her mom her mom died mm -hmm. and the whole song's about her mom but you never know that you think it's about a lover you think about mm -hmm. a dog <laughs> you know you think about all this stuff but mm -hmm. that's what it's about but you don't release certain things or say certain things to so people can cope in their own way right and you know, it's funny because the, just what you were going off of, like us as therapists, we, we don't give advice. We kind of, you know, help people come to their own thing. And mm -hmm. I feel like that's what this yeah. is doing. Like, <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Snaps to you for that connection. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like, I think, I think that's important to allow people to make their own interpretations mm -hmm. and to grow within themselves through things, not necessarily hand feeding. Right. I really like that. I feel like Beyonce herself used it as her own coping skill. You know, through the writing, creating it, um, maybe different. Like she had all those poems, and those poems like spoke to her, and, and she wanted to use it through the video. Like she just made it for her. And we talk about that, you know, in therapy. Where I know I recommend people to write or oh, yeah. um, you know draw or create. Like just you know be creative. You have to be very creative in therapy. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, so she's doing that. And maybe it wasn't intentional. Like oh, her therapist told her to do that yeah. or something, but. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm, she's using yeah. like her art and her music and her experience, what she's gone through, and like made it into something. And now here it is, and she can put it out there. And snaps to not to to digress from what you're saying, but snaps to uh, what's her name, uh, Warsong, uh, Sherry, the poet mm -hmm. who wrote the poetry that's in between all the songs. She's 27, uh, from Somalia, and mm -hmm. um, she's great. Like I was like those words. I was like, oh yes. I tell you all the time, I'm a visual learner. Yeah. So those words, like, you can really, like, Im imagine them and, like, see them. Would they have them? I didn't see that part. I only saw the anger section of it, um, so I didn't see the, the in-between. There's not words. It's, like, there's visuals, and then Beyonce speaking, voicing over it. Yeah. The words of the poet. Of her. But the poet, like, the words that she chose, she chooses. Chooses, yes. Yeah. You know, you can really imagine it. You can really okay. see it. Because it's just, like, so detailed. Yeah. So I like that. I was like, mm -hmm. what's going on? <laughs> I like that. And she's giving more people, more, like, from Somalia, uh -huh. like, are uh, showing people that, especially black women who are capable of doing many th more things mm -hmm. than what's depicted in society and media and all that stuff, like, something beautiful like mm -hmm. that and in the video. Some of it that I saw, there's a, a lot of different black women, a lot of different things, women just showing different ways to to be mm -hmm. and, and and giving people money for that. <laughs> That's true. You know, I think it's interesting that everybody wants because I know this is new. Every time Beyonce has something new, it's like a big thing. She mm -hmm. has like her new stuff, but she comes out with these songs, and I'm thinking, you know, everybody's like, "Wow, Daisy cheated on her," and all this stuff. <laughs> yeah. But there's other songs before that that were about the same stuff. Exactly. Yes, nobody said anything. It really was. It <laughs> nobody <laughs> said anything, so I don't really get why this it's is so much different like ring the alarm like that was that on. was my jam like, <laughs> oh my god i love that song but, but like that was probably a little bit more angry than that was so <laughs> angry i would yell that I'd the car and turn it up yeah she she was mad but you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know that was definitely so bad casually. i'm assuming <laughs> um, i don't know yeah it's true i think it's because of for uh, when she came out with that, that album release where it was all, you know, when we had our Beyonce nights. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that made her, like, more popular in a different sense. Like, people understood how creative she is and smart mm -hmm. she mm -hmm. is oh. with being able to produce money, basically, because yeah. how she does it. But then when she came out with Formation, I think from Formation on, like, she can't digress, really, backwards a certain thing she used mm -hmm. to sing about. And so I think her controversy of what she's talking about and really do Black Lives Matter, like really being a backing up 
all of that is what's happening right now is why people are talking about it all more. Yeah. She said when they were talking about uh, formation, she said, if I can get something for people to, to stir up a conversation, mm -hmm. she goes, that's all worth all the negativity that you're right. going to get about this. Exactly. Right. Exactly. I know there's an... I forget who it was, but yes. but people are saying that they like Beyonce back when she was doing like you know the gum, bubble gum pop stuff. Of course you do because she's not like being this activist and yeah. being out who she is. Like she went from pop princess in everyone's eyes to oh my god Beyonce is like you know becoming this militant person, which I think she's always been there. Mm -hmm. It's just now. She like we always talk about in order to change things you have to get into the system. Mm -hmm. Once you're in the system, you can really start changing it. And she, yes. everybody loves Beyonce for the most part. Like she's in there so now. She's like, all right, so now I can really talk to you about what I want to do. Like, yeah, <laughs> she's so. turning underground mainstream Dream. type exactly. thing. Exactly. Because like we we're talking about like J Cole and yes. all these different artists who say really relevant, Great really stuff. powerful stuff, but they're not. They're they're what is it B class or C class? Uh, celebrities yeah, or whatever, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> but not in in Beyonce's A plus plus class. Like who is bigger than Beyonce? Nobody. Nobody. Right. Michael Jackson. Yeah, that was like, <laughs> that's like, in my mind. That's like only... who's living. Right. <laughs> right. No one. No one at all. Whew. Goodness. Mm. I don't know. She's she's breaking grounds in a lot of different areas. Like mm -hmm. music, first of all, is not going to be the same because of how she does things. Mm -hmm. The way she releases albums. Like, the way yes. like, she produces these visual things. Like, it's almost like, when I was talking to my uncle about it, he's, she's like, she's almost like Michael Jackson in that sense, where he changed the face of how music is done. Yeah. And now, in our generation, this is like kind of like what she's doing. Right. And also bringing in that um, political side of it. Yeah, I love that she ch changed it that way, because she's so, so powerful. Like, mm -hmm. that's... I think we talked, but then we talked about formation too. Yeah, yeah, we did talk about formation. But I think it's even interesting having this conversation where we go from one thing to the next because yeah. there's so much in it. Mm -hmm. It's like one album, you know, one hour long video, but there's so much. Yeah, you can never yeah. not cover everything. <laughs> no, no I, I think the, the video from what I've seen, what you explained, <laughs> can be is a good way for us to start segwaying and thinking about ways of explaining people the grief process mm -hmm. in a relationship. Yes. We, don't, we don't we don't talk about we talk about different stages and stuff, but that that process that she goes through in the right. video of what you said is is for us mental health people and also for y'all out there to mm -hmm. recognize that to recognize that when you lose somebody or some you know something dramatic changes in your mm -hmm. relationship that you go through all this and that mm -hmm. that you can stay together that it's not a weak thing if someone cheats on you or does all these bad things and you're seen as this and that and mm -hmm. oh, how could you stay with him that right. it's a beautiful thing to be able to work through it and really trust and love each other mm -hmm. and to work on yourself yeah i think it also like you said those process gives you like permission to feel gives you permission yes. to feel gives you permission to express yourself gives you permission to feel angry mm -hmm. or to feel however you mm -hmm. want to feel because when you watch you're like oh my gosh wow she's so upset yeah yeah she is upset. upset how do you express your anger you know exactly. how do you express when you're happy it gives you because people you know everybody look not everybody people look up to beyonce people are saying wow beyonce got cheated on what makes you think i'm not gonna get cheated on beyonce stayed on maybe i it's all these memes about what you can do we were talking about it earlier but it's also different because beyonce's married you know, yeah. and, and she took vows. That's really yeah. different from, like, a boyfriend, girlfriend, or even it a fiancé relationship. She's married. So mm -hmm. if things happen, which they will in your relationship, and you take these vows, you know what? I mean, you, you can work it out. You don't have to get divorced. Yeah, and that and that whole thing that Erica was saying about, you know, Beyonce's this, or what, we all, what, where's the hope for us? And I'm like, but Beyonce's a person? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how do you really yeah. know what's going on in, like, who she is in her marriage as a person. You know Beyonce the entertainer, the performer, the mm -hmm. whatever you want to call Sasha her. Sasha Fierce. Exactly. <laughs> you don't know her in her personal life, so you don't really know. We were talking about maybe she cheated. Maybe she's the one who is maybe like she going. Did. Maybe. You never you don't know. So it's not like you can't hold that's what I wanted to say. The whole in there there's a clip, real fast clip in uh, I forget what song it was, but it says God is God and I am not. Yeah. So, Ooh, right. <laughs> so it's like people hold her to this, uh, like ideal, and mm -hmm. she's like, "No, I'm a person. Like this is yeah. 
Yeah, people don't get that. It doesn't matter how beautiful, how rich, how handsome, yeah. how whatever Ever you are. It, it, it can happen to anybody. Bad <laughs> yeah. things can happen to anybody. So we're, we're all human. Everybody's yeah. human. human. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has bad things happen in their life. But at the end of the day, it's what you do with it. Yeah, and exactly. Despite like all the controversy about you know black life, well black life matters part of it. Mm -hmm. um, her cheating, the cheating, and the Becky with the Becky with the good, with the good hair. hair. That seems to be like Ooh. overriding a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, there's a line in uh, my favorite song, "Sorry Not mm -hmm. Sorry." At the end, she goes, um, "You better go call. call Becky with the good hair." Yeah, talking to. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh my gosh, who's Becky with the good hair? Yeah. Who is this, who's this woman that Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce with? Yeah. But, you know, it could be a horse. I mean, it could be anybody. I mean, it could, be, I mean, it it could, could be, be anything. Anybody. But take that all away. I think at the end of it, it just says, from what I gather, things happen. Yep. You can mm -hmm. make something positive out of it. We're all human. We all feel. Express yourself. Mm-hmm. Express yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, it's all how we look at it, though. It yeah, is. It is. So. But I think you're right. That's the main, like, taking everything, the layers off. That's the main thing. We all go through this stuff. Um, and in we, life. yeah, in life, in general, and you just grow from it. Growth. Make them, make right. them lemons. What's, what's lemons? What's your lemons? <laughs> lemons. Oh, God. Lemons. I'm telling you, that's sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, not sorry. That's my song. That's all you have to know. If you know the, the <laughs> if you know the track. We Boy, learned, bye. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Walk out the door. Oh, <laughs> Drop sorry. the mic. That's it. That's it. All right. Well, I think we did enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, we could more. get, we could go into a whole like we talk about this year. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. You really break it. The down. rest of our season could be on Beyonce Lemonade. Yeah, so good. <laughs> So Beyonce, yeah. if you want us to, okay. <laughs> if you want us to analyze this and talk about it a little bit more, <laughs> call us. Call us. Exactly. All right. Are we ready to close? Yeah. Hit it, Akila. If you are an artist and would like us to play your music or have a product or brand that you would like us to advertise, or if you have any questions or comments, please email us at heartschat at heartschatradioshow.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Periscope at heartschat and our Instagram at Hearts Chat Radio. We post a lot of motivational messages up throughout the day, so if you need a little inspiration or pick-me-up, follow our pages. And for more information on Hearts Chat, be sure to visit our website, www.heartschatradioshow.com. We hope you enjoyed our show today. Tune in every Sunday and Tuesday on heartschatradioshow.com for a new episode of Hearts Chat. So don't forget to tune in again at heartschatradioshow.com <laughs> and check us out. And visit my blog and ask me all of your relationship questions anonymously at fromericasheart.com. Thank you for listening to Hearts Chat where we speak from the heart. Bye. Bye-bye.